Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see how we can remove white spaces from click string using various functions. So let's start with a simple example. I will create an inline load and I will say load star inline with name as United Kingdom 001. So I will load the data and at the front end I will create a table and will say name and I will also find out length of the string. So using the length function. So we are getting 18. We will also create a filter pen with name as the dimension. Now if I will add another line here and I will say United Kingdom but with 3, 4 and 5 spaces here. If I will load like this, for click it is still United Kingdom 001 with the same length 18. I will also add ID here. I will say row number as ID and this ID I will bring at the front end. So I will add ID here and now we have two lines but both the lines are having 18 characters. So in a filter as you know that click will only show distinct value here but we want to show line with few spaces here. So to do that we have to use single quote here and if I will load this it should have two different lines with two different length but it will still not work. Why? Because click automatically remove leading and trailing spaces, extra spaces. So if we want to load our data as it is we have to set a variable and the variable name is verbatim verbatim equal to 1. Once we load set verbatim equal to 1 and if we reload the data now you can see that click is loading our data our string as it is without removing any extra spaces either it's a leading space or it's a trailing space. The same way if I will add here United Kingdom 001 and space after 001 and if I will also add space at the front of the string and at the back of the string. So now we should have four lines. So let me let me add few more space here so we can have different length. Okay. So usually this type of issue is happening when user inputting data manually in a database, different users input records as their own and sometimes they are adding extra spaces and when we get this data in click, we are facing several issues here because this data is not matching. So consider this case where we are getting data from any database and now consider the case where you have to use this name as a filter. So United Kingdom 001 should appear only once, not more than once. But here because all of these records are having different length, they are not same for click. So what we should do to remove the extra spaces. Here we have few string functions which we can use. So the first function is, I will use the first function and its name is altrim. And altrim will remove the space from the front, means it will remove the leading space. And now if I will find out the length of my name after altrim function, you will see that the second line where we have space at the front, extra space at the front, now having 18 characters. So what altrim function is doing, it is removing the extra spaces. 
it is trimming the extra species from the left of the string. The same way, if I will use R trim and if I will use length of my name after using R trim, then you can see that now we have the third one. The third one which is having extra space after 001. So this space is now removed. So for the second line where we have leading space and the third line where we have trailing space. Both are removed using the L trim and R trim function. But now what will happen for the last one where we have leading and trailing white spaces. So to do that we have to use the combination of L trim and R trim. So what I can do here is L trim and then I say R trim. And if I will use now length of my name after L trim and R trim, I will get 18 here for everywhere. So if I will use this R trim and L trim at the front end, and if I will say as name and I will remove the star and if now I will reload the application we will have 18 here and we don't have to use at the front end. So now you can see that using the L trim and R trim we have removed the extra species but there is another function trim which will remove extra species from left side and right side both and it will work as a combination of L trim and R trim. So what I can do here is instead of L trim and R trim I can use trim here I can say name as name 2 and now if I will add this name to here and if I will say len of name 2 then I should have 18 for all of this line and you can see that on a filter we have United Kingdom 001 only once instead of four times. So I can remove this R trim and L trim here and I can say name 1 and I can remove this name 2 and I can remove everything now. So, hope this is clear that how L trim and R trim functions work. Now, let's move ahead and find a case where we have spaces between United and Kingdom or between Kingdom and 001. So, now let's try to load this data from Excel file. So, I will comment this one out and so I will load data from an Excel file and I will give name same as data for this table and I will load this and at the front end okay the ID is not there so I will also add ID here I will say row number as ID and now my front table will work as it is so this is the excel file now what I will do I will add another line where we have few extra spaces on the left side and few extra spaces at the back side. So here you can see we have trailing extra space and here and on the second line we have leading extra space. And I will add another one where we have extra spaces trailing and leading both. I will save this and I will load this data. We still getting 18 everywhere. Why? Because we have to use this variable. Why I am setting this variable? Because I will show you in next example. 
and now you will see that we have different length. So if I will use here trim and this length I will say trim of my name as length then I should get now 18 here. So this is working absolutely the way we want. But now consider the case where we have spaces like this. We have spaces like this. That means we have spaces in between two words of a string. So L trim, R trim and trim. This function can remove spaces from the front and from the back. But trim function will not work for the spaces between the two words of, of any string. So I will save this data and I will load this. And now you can see that we have many times this United Kingdom coming and here in a name as well we have lines repeating. At the front end you will see that United Kingdom 001 is showing here and you will think that okay it is same but when you export to Excel you will find out the difference here. You can see it's not same. So now if I will set this variable equal to 0 or if I will even comment out this variable Click sense by default using verbatim as 0. So now when I load this, the spaces between the United and Kingdom or Kingdom and 001 means between the two words, those spaces are not removed. And we even don't know that how many spaces are there. So if I will say something here, so instead of trim, if I will use replace and what I will want to replace, I want to replace space with nothing means I will remove the single space. So what will happen now? I will say name and when I load this, this is working but you will see that now you have removed space between United and Kingdom and Kingdom and 001. This is not exactly what you want. Say you want to keep the single space. So when there are two space, remove that space or replace this space with no space. In that case, what will happen? United space kingdom space 001 is not coming properly as per your expectation. So how to remove extra spaces between words? So to do that, we have to apply a different logic. So let's create that logic. So first of all, I will write name here and here I will write length, which is coming as it is from the Excel file. Okay, and now we will start creating a good logic. So, first of all, I will write down here, I will say map spaces and I will say here load, I will say united auto generate one and here I will give name as import and I will load this. So, let's understand the logic what exactly this is doing. So auto generate will create a single line and with a field name input and value as united. So now if I will write down here 10 then it will create 10 lines but you will see only one line because in a click object you will only find distinct values but if you go to the data model you will see 10 line here. So what I will do here is I will add row number here as id and actually I don't want the bottom part right now. I will load this and add id here and now you will see 10 lines. Now I will use a new function repeat and I will say repeat u as input and I will remove this united and repeat function need 
a second parameter so how many times you want to repeat so I will say one time and now we will see that 10 times we have got u but if we use row number instead of one as a second parameter it will convert the single u with the number of u's according to the row number so for the first line you will get u second line w then third line triple times u and so on instead of u i will say space so one space two space three space something like that and now we will see this is the output so if i will use here len of my input so you can see that here we have one time space here two times here three times here four times so instead of space let's use u and then c so you will see u one time here is there so length of this input is one two three four something like that so instead of u now i will replace with space so when it is one space two space something like that i want to replace by single space so here i will say single space as output and i will add output here and we will find out the length of output so it's a one so now we need input and output only so i will remove row number and i will say mapping row and instead of 10 i will say 100 so up to 100 spaces it will convert this 100 spaces or it will replace 100 spaces to single space and now i will load my this data and instead of only name i will say map substring map substring and i am using this mapping table and it, the input is my name and i will say output is also my name and now if i will load this all the spaces removed and this length is coming different because of that we are getting many lines but if i will remove this id and if i will say length of this as length we should have only single single line here and if i will add filter pan with name and you can see we have a single line here so hope you understand how we can use l trim r trim trim and map substring by creating a dummy mapping table hope you like this video and you like this trick i am not the founder of this trick i found this trick when i had similar issue long time ago and when i was searching on click community i found that someone has suggested this but i am not sure the name of the person who has created this so the full credit goes to that person if you know who has first time suggested this you can comment on my youtube video till then thanks and have a great day